Okay, let's do leak code 345, reverse vowels of a string in JavaScript. It's got some likes, has a lot of dislikes. Uh, what they want you to do is take this input string, take the vowels in them, and swap them with the opposite vowel. So like this E becomes this E, and this O becomes that E. like that down here. Okay. All right, so uh, I did this with two pointers. So let's type out some code. Letters equals, uh, we'll get some letters. And we'll start with the split. And then we'll, let's type up the pointers here. So we're going to use I. Let I equal to zero. And then let's get uh, the other pointer, which is going to be the spot of the last letter. Okay. And then we'll just paste in the vowels there. Those are all the vowels. And what we're going to do is a while loop. And we're going to run through this with the while loop. And what we need to do in here is basically set some temps. So left character equals, this is the left character, and the right character. Okay, so we have some temps here, and why don't we just console log these? And we'll make this a little faster if we grab them like this. Make this J, that J, okay. So we can walk uh, through this and see them. And then what we want to do is we want to check with some if else statements what these specific characters actually are. So are they a vowel? And we'll do that with includes. That's J minus minus. Else. Okay. So what we're doing here is we're walking through this input right here and we're going, is this letter a vowel? Is this included in here? If it's not a vowel, then go to the next one. The same thing with this else if. Is this a vowel? Well, in this case, yes, so we would do the else, but if it wasn't a vowel, then it would minus minus. So we would subtract from J and make it one less. So as this is walking forward with the first pointer, this is walking backwards with the second pointer. So then what we do here is our swapping. And we need to remember that we still need to walk through these, even if they are the vowel, a vowel that we're finding, we have to still keep walking through the string. So then right here, what we'd want to do is we want to return, uh, we would want to return letters and we want to join it like that, so it becomes a string again. So let's run this, make sure I don't have any typos. Wow, this is taking a long time. Oh, I have this input here. Wow, it was not happy about that. Uh, clearly, I have, oh, I already see it right there. That needs to be J, not I. 
because we're walking J backwards uh, and I forwards. So let's run this again. Okay, there we go. So I have some console logs in here. And you can see we're walking through this input string forwards like this, A, B, Z, B, X, B, C. So we're walking through this right there until we find uh, what we're actually looking for. So letters I, H, is this a vowel? No, okay, we're gonna keep doing the while loop. B, is this a vowel? No, so you can see the walkthrough here. And when we actually find a vowel, let's, uh, let's minimize that, there we go. When we find a vowel, then we just swap them. And remember, this was the temp that we have, so we just set letters I, so that would be like here, set it to the right character. Right character was the letters J, that's this, we set that, then we set the reverse of that, letters J, this one becomes the temp that we set uh, up here for left character. And then remember, just because we actually have it uh, as a vowel and have swapped it, we still have to continue walking through the string, and that's going to be done right here. So this is all done inside of the while loop, and then at the end of it, we can just return our letters and join them back. And I'll remove this console here. So this looks a little cleaner for you. And that's that algorithm.